Hello, and welcome to our very first Zero to 50 live stream. I am very excited. My name is Tony Ray. I'm your community manager, and we're going to be going all the way from Zero to 50. Now, I know we don't really start at Zero. We start at One, but you know what? I'm a Zero in this game, and I have no shame in saying that. And I'm going to be taking a character all the way to 50, and you're going to be watching. Hopefully, you make it that way. Uh, because it's gonna be it's gonna be a lot uh, a lot of gameplay but it's gonna be damn fun we had you guys vote on the forums this whole week on what character I was gonna be and it was super close super super close literally for the faction was it was within two votes two votes uh, so we're gonna get to all that in a second a little bit of a theme of the day So we're gonna be going over a lot of character creation. We have got Corey Herndon here He's a lead narrative uh, writer and he's gonna be talking to us also the voice of uh, proto T uh, uh, Phineas T Roto star sorry uh, and it's gonna be it's gonna be a lot of it's gonna be a lot of fun today. Uh, we've also got fan art. We got some community updates or news that I wanted to sh give some shout outs to, and kind of give you an overall idea of what this stream is gonna be. Every single week we're gonna be here, and uh, it's gonna be a lot of it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm excited. So let's get right into this character creation now. Uh, so it was within two votes. My exiles pulled through, thankfully, and I am an exile. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much, exiles. I really appreciate it. It was really close. Uh, the race, I'm going to be an Orin, Spell Slinger, and an Explorer. Now, it was close for the class and for the uh, faction. It was within two, but everyone wanted me to be an Explorer because I think they want me to die on all the jumping puzzles. I think that's what that is. So thank you so much. Thank you so much, everyone, for wanting to see me die. And for those of you asking, I am on Entity. It is a PvE server. Uh, why did I pick PvE over PvP? Uh, because I'm not crazy. That's why. Uh, I know, I know if I were to pick P a PvP server, I wouldn't survive a second on this live stream. Everyone, everyone would be trying to kill me. All right, so we're going to go ahead and customize character here let's see we got some face styling all right let's see whoa you got some big eyes there oh they're kind of all big oh, she looks a little looks a little scary there a lot of a lot of eyeliner all right let's see i like that one i like the the eyebrows eyelashes those aren't eyebrows at all those are eyelashes all right, time to customize a face. I love these sliders. Uh, oh, real pointy nose, almost, or real pointy chin. My my anatomy needs some work. Eyebrows, eyelashes. Let's see. That's cool. The high, I don't know. I guess high eyes. Is that a thing? People in chat are not happy that I'm exiled. I'm sorry, Dominion. You should have voted. It was close. I'm telling you, it was not. It was not uh, a landslide by any means. I suck at spacing. That's creepy. Very close together. There we go. What'd you say? I have a lot. Uh, my experience in making characters is is, is, uh, is fun. <laughs> Jack of spades. How do I anatomy? Really, I am struggling with the anatomy this morning. All right. Now we're going to go into skin color. Now, I don't see skin color. Everyone's equal to me. But I am going to be picky with this. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be picky here. You're going to critique me? Look at this. has got like a mystique thing going on. I kind of like that. It's cool. I know I have to. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna be with this character for a long time. Many streams. I'm gonna have this character, so I'm definitely gonna be picky here. Um. God, I don't know. I'll let the chat decide. I'll let chat decide. What should I go? Come on, chat. I need. I need your help. Fix my eyes. My eyes are perfect. They're like close together and big. They're like ah, ah. I love, I love my eyes. People, 
people in the chat do, do not go mystique i think i'm gonna look at that yeah yeah i'm going mystique what color eyes does mystique have i have no idea red eyes Let's see. Look at all these. Look at all. Yellow cat eyes. Okay. What color? Oh, what kind of hair should I have? Well, that's cute. I don't know. That's kind of wild. I kind of like it. Because I feel like I, when I get in here, I'm going to be doing work. I'm going to be lighting fools up. And by that, I mean I'm going to be dying a whole lot. <laughs> oh, perfect. All right, so you got the hair. Oh, it's like a, that's right. It's like slick back. I guess it's the closest to Mystique. If we're going there, we might as well. I'm trying to make Mystique here. That's the closest. All right. Uh, hair color, I think she had like red-ish. Mm, that's close. Oh, no. Yeah, I think that's closer we're going to get to Mystique. That purple. Purple's cool. All right, we're going to go there. It's as close as we can get. People are still not liking my eye choice. I like my eyes. They're cool looking. They're huge. Yeah, I know. They're really close, which is cool. All right, there we go. We've got some yellow eyes. This is very Mystique. I'm very happy with this. I gotta pick my ear style. Whoa! Those are some big ears. Oh. That's cute. What? What? <laughs> Angel wings? I had no idea. I feel like I'm gonna learn a whole hell of a lot about this game during this stream, and it's gonna be awesome. Look at that! What the hell? Those wings on the top of my head? Can you imagine me flying around like that? All right, I'm going with these. These are cute. They're uh, they're not long, so when I'm in battle, they're not going to get caught in anything, is what I'm thinking. You know what I'm saying? I'm all strategy. Okay, I'm all strategy. You ask anybody. I'm a very strategic player. Yep. You ask anybody. Oh, yeah, that's sick. Rocking my exile pride. These are really cool. I actually didn't know any of this existed. I haven't... Uh, I haven't played a female character, and I definitely haven't played Orin. I'm more of a like a Granok warrior type, so I am really, <laughs> I am really uh, stretching it here to uh, stretching my gameplay style to be playing a uh, a spell slinger. Which jewelry should I get? Oh, is it no jewelry? Well, that's no f that's no fun at all. I gotta have some jewelry. I think I'm gonna rock my exiles. Yeah, those, that's pretty tight. I like that. <laughs> Mine, Mind Stabber says 1 to 50 in five years. <laughs> no, it's not. I'm going to be playing quite a bit, so it's not going to take me five years. It might take me three. Eh, maybe. All right, let's see. Body style. No, I want to be powerful. That's what I'm going to say. Let's see. She's looking pretty beefy. I like that. Gonna need some strength for the journey ahead. There we go. Uh, for those of you uh, that are interested in questions, we did take questions from uh, all of our social channels. Uh, we, po we had a post yesterday morning on Facebook, uh, Twitter, uh, Reddit and the forums uh, asking for questions and that's how we're going to be taking questions uh, for this new live stream and I'm going to be gathering them and reading them out loud on the live stream here so uh, we're not taking questions from the live chat well I'll be interacting with chat obviously if I see a, if I see a question that I know that I haven't already gathered um, I will I will answer it for sure the reason for this new way is so that way people uh, that can't tune in live can still submit questions and it helps us organize a little bit rather than just trying to be on the go all right i think i'm good i like this you guys what do we think from the peanut gallery over there good 
I like it. No, I didn't fix my eyes. I love my eyes. I love it. Accepted. All right. A uh, quick question from Chad W. The next support is not dead. Uh, the next support is st instead of being a weekly show, uh, it is now moving to be like a special event, and it'll be like a news update show that we'll be able to have uh, kind of around drops and around big content updates. Um, the reason is, you know, it, with the new change in development cycles, it became hard to have uh, a full hour's worth of uh, updates for you every single week. And uh, rather than just try and, you know, give you filler content, we want to do something fun and exciting and new. And that is what we're doing uh, here. Getting this gameplay going. Okay, so I asked for suggestions for names. And I got some pretty good names. But my favorite, I hope it's still available, is Toe Knee. Oh, yes. Yeah, Tony. All right, let's. Boom. There we go. I got it, guys. Character name is Tony. Get it? Toe. Tony. All right, I got to listen to this. I can't hear it. Can you turn it up just a smidge in here? disappeared from the galaxy long ago. Exhausted, there we go. But full of hope, the exiles prepared their ancient starships for mm. one final journey mm. to Nexus. Cinematic style. That is where their true oh yeah. Begins. By the way, we're on a green screen. If you haven't noticed, and the bottom of my hat is green. I for sure had to put tape on it. Had to put black tape on my hat. That's how much I love you guys. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm sorry, sir. Our last jump to the Nexus system overloaded the reactor in that section. This ship is more than three centuries old, and... Just find that cryopod. She's got to be there. Sadie. Sadie Brightland. I know Sadie. Name, Mr. Brightland. Just call me Deadeye. Now quit arguing and get my wife That's out. a name. That's one hell Those of a name. Those sensors are out. Deadeye. run reliable at best. Wait, I think I found it. Functioning pod. Firing up the retrieval system. Magnetic clamps released. Lucky for you, you found. I am on the entity uh, server. For those of you asking in chat, I am on entity. Because I don't want to die every five seconds. This isn't her. She's in a different silo. Fine. Then whoever you just woke up oh, is yeah. gonna help me track her down. There we go. Gotta go help this guy find his lady. Kimmer Gaming, I'm sorry. I did love you so much, but just not enough to play on a PvP server. We're gonna need every able-bodied exile we got. Oh yeah. Come on, did I? so beautiful all right sweet so I am in here uh, and it has begun <laughs> and it has begun already there we go uh, okay uh, so he's the stream stalker yep there he is stream stalker damn it uh, I was gonna I was I was wondering how long is it gonna take for someone to uh, to dance in front of me or do some crazy stuff not long not long at all that's how long okay so what uh what we're going to be doing is i'm going to take a quick second to introduce our guest for this stream we've got a guest on the stream and this is a perfect chance now to uh to talk to him answer a few questions our lead narrative writer Corey herndon slide on in here my friend Hello. Oh, hello. yeah, that was hello. nice. Hello. Holo, hello, right there in the center. Hello. There you oh, go. Right in the center. Yeah, there hello. we go. How are now, you? Now, look at this. That voice is just gorgeous. <laughs> it's just gorgeous. Um, oh, yeah, move the... Way. Here, let me let me huh? do this for you. Here, no, I'm, I'm just going to caress I'm right, your... I'm there right we, here. Yep. Oh, j just... Oh, yeah. oh, hold okay. me. Just hold yep. me. Okay. All right, now let me go. All right. Okay. 
<laughs> so uh, it's always good to start off creepy. Uh, we've got some questions for you uh, that I wanted to, that I want answered. For me personally? Yeah, from you oh, personally. From me personally. Fr yes. I have a lot of questions for myself. How <laughs> how did uh, how did you become the voice of Phineas T. Rotostar. Well, it's a long story. I'll try to do the shorter version. Uh, a few years ago, way back when we were first coming up with our uh, trade skills, the uh, the original concept of the trade skills was that these Protostar guys were going to be the uh, kind of uh, training people up with uh, cooking and things like that. Uh -huh. And so we had a training video that needed some voiceover work. And I'd done some theater acting and stuff like that, and uh, the uh, trade skill designer asked me to help with some of the VO, um, and that ended up being uh, what ended up being the Phineas T. Rotostar voice. So when we later on went and uh, developed the, the lore of Protostar, how they were all you know, cloned from one guy, uh, I ended up basically getting the job because I'd already done it. Um, so I sort of stumbled into it and pushed my way into it. And, <laughs> hey, and that's now I they can't take it from me. Yeah, no, no, not, not now. <laughs> So I'm on my uh, way. I'm helping uh, Deadeye while I while I ask you some I of these questions. That. Yeah, You're doing a, doing a just to kind of get too. through some of this. Uh, you have a lot of helpers with you. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I feel like it's gonna only grow as we progress through <laughs> this thing. Uh, but if you guys would like to uh, level along with me, that'd be that'd be cool. I wouldn't mind that at all. Uh, so I like that you I like that you just kind of wedged yourself in there as the voice <laughs> of Phineas. Uh, Good on you. Good on you. Uh, so what's what's a typical day for you working in narrative? What does that mean? Well, at narrative, we do a lot of things. We do uh, we do development of like the lore documentation that you know is kind of like the the background uh, IP docs really for for everything in the game. Um, you know, a few years ago, it was much more about generating those lore docs, kind of like writing like the biggest like Wild Star. Uh, 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 encyclopedia you could imagine uh -huh. um, and a lot of that has now she come out into you know is in the wiki and stuff like that and all of it's like used as a foundation for this stuff um, then you know we moved into doing more uh, uh, dialogue polish um, and editorial work and things like that now we have a team of uh, several editors who are working on uh, every piece of text that goes into the game um, I myself and a few of the other narrative designers were working on um, new journals, new uh, new lore collectibles for everyone to pick up, um, new storylines and uh, zone briefs for uh, upcoming zones and upcoming content. Um, every once in a while, uh, I get to go do. That's very rare. Um, <laughs> you should be doing. You should be doing more, Bo. That's it. We're gonna make it happen. <laughs> we have a. Let me tell you something. I've got a lot of power. I'm gonna make it happen. I have no power. I'm just nope. No, nobody cares. Nobody cares. Uh, well, but you have the power of mind swords because you're an esper. Uh, spell slinger. Spell slinger. Spell slinger. Yeah. I'm sorry. Close. Mind bullets. It's okay. Yeah. Mind bullets. <laughs> I'm so good. My mind might be able to direct these bullets. So. You're not far <laughs> off. You're not far <laughs> off. Honestly, it was close, close though. The uh, the, like the Esper was two votes away from Spellslinger. Really? So that's probably why you thought that. Yeah, it was very, very close. And you know, the first Orin we ever saw was an Esper back in the uh, in the launch trailer. Yes, yes, uh, that's true. That little trio of that was that was some of the first uh, uh, like publicly publicly released stuff I got to work on um, back when we were. Pappy and I were a very small writing team. We were working it was just on that, the two of uh, you in the trailer. beginning. Um, there were, yeah, more or less. Um, and uh, uh, we had a, a few. I mean, we worked uh, closely with with uh, uh, the small team of content designers way back when. Um, but yeah, most of the the IP stuff. Um, the I mean, IP that sounds so uh, uh, snooty. Um, the lore, a lot of the lore the background. We just uh, kind of came up with all that from scratch and just iterated it back and forth, sending it back and forth to each other until it, you know it was just honed into the you know crisply defined lore that everyone absorbs. Um, and yeah, it's 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 funny. We we did uh, so much writing in the first um, or in the last couple of years because we were getting you know so many zones together and stuff. Um, we've got a really like kind of well-oiled writing machine now. Um, if we need just you know if we need some journals for a new zone, yeah. we just crank those out in about a week. Um, I love those journals, man. I yeah. love I love lore, and that's that's something that if you don't like lore, you kind of <laughs> you're gonna hate yeah. this. Um, <laughs> yeah. Don't worry, I won't be on for the whole stream. 
Um, uh, no, no, I love the lore. <laughs> I love the lore. So yeah, we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be. Uh, so this up is your talk, for example, speaking of lore, um, I mean, I could talk a little bit about some of the characters you're meeting right now. Oh, yeah, some please of our do. Iconics. This is Sergeant Kyra. Um, she's uh, uh, General Durek's uh, right hand. Uh, sorry, command, yeah, General Keswick, Commander Durex. <laughs> Commander Durex. <laughs> right hand uh, uh, woman. Um, she, uh, so she's kind of the, uh, she's the, the, the second in command. She's the, the Riker to his Picard, if you will. Um, and that's why she's the one handing you your gun and getting ready to go shoot here. Yeah, um, I just got my I just got my weapon, mm -hmm. and I'm pretty she's excited about see, it. She's gonna want to see if you're up to snuff to, to fight alongside the other exiles. The uh, the Grand like things. her, a lot of them are in the uh, the uh, what we call FCON, the uh, uh, Free Companies of Nexus, which is essentially the exile military. It's sort of an all voluntary, but are all volunteer, but still, you know, they get paychecks. Um, uh, military force that's kind of in it to to fight the Dominion and uh, you know find uh, find a new home on Nexus, especially the Grand Ark are in it to fight the Dominion. Yeah, I they do say, not get a lot. I know, man. That's why I love the Grand Ark. I love the Grand Ark. But uh, you know what? I, I'm in this stream now. I love the Orin. <laughs> You're an Orin. I now, love chef. the Orin. I'm an, I'm an Orin now. <laughs> Uh, it's different and it's new for me, but here we go. This is my first time using Spell Slinger, by the way. I have never used Spell Slinger. It's uh, it's all about the uh, it's all about the warrior for me. But I who knows? By the end of this, I might really love Spell Slinger. Yeah, spell Slingers are fun. So let's see. Uh, we got okay. So, so I got I got a, I got a gun. Look at look at how far I can shoot. This is great. This is something cool uh, with a warrior. I'm so used to having to get right up close to the action. I could probably, probably, s s s I, I might only need one button. This might be amazing. Uh, oh, and by the way, I'm playing on on a on a mouse that I do not like to play with. So next week, <laughs> I will have I will bring in my own mouse, and uh, and that way I can wreck some fools because this is going to be difficult. This mouse. Oh yeah, yeah. Wrecking up this tortu tutorial. T what am I trying to say? Tutorial? Tortuga. 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 Tutorial. Whatever, man. Torta sandwich. I've got my gang with me. I don't think they're your gang. I think they're going to kill you. No, they're my oh, gang. Oh, that's your gang. Yes. No, they're no. No. Yeah, Those no. bots there. Those the, the bots for sure want to kill me. The bots want to do terrible, terrible things. <laughs> hey, now. I don't like killing. Terrible. terrible. This, is, uh, this isn't bad. I kind of like it. Just press V, pick up all my loot. There you go. All right, so we killed all these guys. Some more guys in here. You yeah. Got to be getting rid of the levels. What's up? Got to be getting rid of the levels. What the hell is killing? Oh, that's right. I feel like leveling. I feel like I deserve to level. There we go. Oh, these guys are back. That doesn't feel, doesn't feel right. What'd you say? Use my what? Is it R? Hey. R is the one next to E. Oh, okay. Is that what we're doing? Is that what we're doing? We're pointing that out? All right. I'll go in and use my innate ability. Here we go. Oh! Innate. Yes. Making my abilities do more damage. Now, true. Sadie Brightland is, you know, bleeding out on a cot. Room. She's but fine, man. These bots need to die. These, or be deactivated. Exactly. Deactivated. Because yeah. what is life, really? Look at this guy. Look at this guy. That's how I feel on Mondays, man. He hates these He's boxes. Just standing up next to the wall, banging his head there. I love it. I love it. I love my little gang, too. All right. Let's go find her. I'm coming. Oh, you know what? Will you hit that mouse for me real quick? Sure thing. So we wake up that screen over there. Wait, which screen? What are we waking up? Should we wake up this screen right here for the questions? Oh, really? WTH. All right, here we go. All right, I'm going to talk to Deadeye. Uh, Dad, did you catch that little lore tidbit? She said his actual first name. Did she really? Indeed. Damn it, I missed it. Trivia question for future lore trivia contest. Help me out. What was it? <clears throat> oh, it's on this one? Oh, damn it. Sorry, folks, minor technical difficulties. I'm opening up and a minor technical difficulty. I bet real the quick folks in the chat know, our, uh, our question. Dead Eyes real person. Uh, we, I put all our questions in a Google Doc, so that way I can start asking them some questions. 
Um, yeah, yeah. All right, cool. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. All right, cool. We're good. Okay, yeah, we had to do that real quick so you didn't see the uh, address to the Google Doc because uh, <laughs> that, could be, that could be problematic. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, trusting. Uh, okay, so I want to know what his first name was. I missed it because I was looking around at the computer situation. Does anyone in the chat know? Does anyone in the chat know? Anybody? I don't think so. They're busy uh, LM fouling you? That <laughs> That's laugh my Francis. freaking, freaking, freaking. Um, arse Frankenstein. off. That's what that means. Fun pack. Yep. That's you know that's. Oh, just, it's gonna seem really anticlimactic at this point. His uh, his actual first name uh, is Aaron. Aaron. Aaron Brightman. Yeah, that's a little anticlimactic. Yeah, I know it is. You know, I thought that's you were why gonna I went to say like Xavier. You know, but yeah, so she. Would. <laughs> Xavier. Xavier. Xavier Aloysius Hortense Horatio. No. It, okay. Well, that's fine. I like it. Where? Or as he likes to I... say, just call him Dead Eye. <laughs> you're very good at that. It's almost like you're a voice actor or something. Uh, okay, so I have a couple one. questions for you. Um, there we go. Scroll. Nope. Go over there. All right. So our first question is from Lemurian. Lemurian. Le oh, nice. Very nice. Lost Lemuria, I imagine. No. No, I didn't what? realize that. Where? Okay, cool. All right, so this is from Lemorian uh, from the forums. Remember, guys, you're better off asking questions related to uh, the guest, what the guest does. Random uh, future of the game stuff will never get answered. Future of the game stuff related to Corey's job might get answered if it's something he can talk about. My question is, can Corey do the entire cast in Phineas T. Rotostar's voice? My slightly more serious question is, does he ever wish he had clones? And if yes, how many? That's slightly, <laughs> now we're getting to the serious slightly more issues. serious. Yes, yeah, yeah. yes, yes. Um, let's see here. Uh, just call me Deadeye. Huh? I love it. It never gets old. Uh, <laughs> you could do that all day long. Uh, what, I don't know, what are some of the other uh, what some of the other catchphrases? Uh, uh, uh. Hello, I'm Victor Lazarin, and I'd like to inject you with unknown fluids. Wow. Huh? Um, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Well, with a, what? That's no. I like that's it. Science. That, uh, that is science. Uh -huh. Science. Your go for Mondo. That's yeah. No, that's good. That's good. Uh, as for clones, yes. How course. many? How many? They were very specific. Clones. How many? Um, I think at least a dozen would be in order. I mean, you know, you'd want one clone for like, you know, just for spare parts, that kind of thing. You know, they'd right. probably live some kind of tortured, dark existence somewhere. Maybe I'd, you know, keep them in some kind of IV drip. Um, you'd want a couple of other clones just for, you know, probably horribly unspeakable things. Best not thought of getting into here. Um, you'd want a few to stand in for you at events. Um, and yeah. then, and well, also, I'd, you know, I also want to be able to field my own softball team. Oh, okay. You know, I that mean, would it's be been, super it's been creepy. Far too, I've been at Carbine for six and a half years, and we do still not have a car, uh, Carbine softball Thank team. You. And Tony, you want to start one? I think we should get on this. Man, I can crush a ball. For October, which, of course, is the traditional softball season. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Okay. So I, hey, I, I think we could, we could start one. And I can do, you know, any more impressions anyone thinks of. I'll be happy to do them in the voice of Phineas. Those are just some of the main characters I thought of off the top of my head. I like it. I like it. Um, and, and going oh, wait, back I've got one more. to... I've got one more. Oh, okay. Look at me. I'm Emperor Mercalis, and I'm a hologram. That's good. God, I love Spoiler hearing... Spoiler for those of you yeah. who have only played Exiles. Yeah, great. Thanks. <laughs> um, I, whoa, what am I, what am I on? What, what is that screen? Hey. Hey, now. Goodness. Um, now check a what? Yeah. <clears throat> no kidding. It's medical. That's science. That's, that wasn't I mean, science. Scientific underpants. That. <laughs> so, Clover Four Leaf appears to have a question. I've got a, I got a, a, a call here. Uh, okay, so yeah, can you give a, uh, oh, wait, real quick, just to go back. Yes, uh, for this stream, we're going to be answering questions for the dev that is joining us, for the dev guest that is on. Uh, if we can answer stuff, we will, obviously. 
We oh, can't right. answer yeah. specific things like, when is this happening? What date? We almost never give out dates unless we can. As soon as we can, we give it to you guys. Good dates like, like real world dates. Like real world <clears throat> dates. Not yeah. like in-game dates. Like Not like in-game dates. Krogtober 71st. No, no, like no, no, no. Which no. is a great holiday. That sounds amazing. If you're a Krog. If you're a Krog, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> we can't give you exact dates. Um, you know, when we can, we're more than happy to. We try and be as transparent as possible. Uh, but for this stream, we're really going to stick to questions that have to deal with the dev guest. Uh, this question is from uh, Clover for Leaf from the forums. Can you give a rough estimate of how long our characters were, were in cryo sleep before stepping foot on Nexus? It seems as though both factions have been on Nexus for several years before we, the players, got there, building Ilium and Thade, uh, settling territories and building farms. There's some NPC chatter on the Ark ships about varying ages due to cryo sleep, but I was hoping for some more specific information. Uh, Whew, that was okay, I just spoke with Pappy about this last week, and he's going to kill me if I get it wrong, but, so I hope I don't. But I believe the estimate is about three years. Three um, years, okay. Uh, give or take. Um, the idea is that in our universe, you know, they have they have hyperspace travel, but it still you know takes still takes a while. It's not uh, you know Star Trek zipping from one end of the galaxy to the other before the commercial break. Right. Um, and you know, hence they need to enter cryo sleep for some of these longer trips, um, and just for general safety. You know, um, presumably there's some type of a skeleton crew operating the ship. You know. During those uh, during those voyages, um, there have been settlers on Nexus uh, for a few years as well, uh, building up um, the existing towns. Um, in some places, like in the case of uh, the Exiles, they ha they found their capital city is actually a found location. They they essentially found an old Osun city. Uh, oh, okay, Thay, so they didn't have which to. They took over. They didn't have um, to like. But build places the whole like thing. Uh, like Algarok is a good example of like essentially a boom town. Um, that sprung up around the uh, the mining of loftite, um, which is a very valuable mineral, uh, which was discovered on Nexus. Uh, Protostar is there as well. Huh. Of course, wherever there is money to be made, <laughs> Protostar <laughs> will be there. Wherever there is money to be made, Protostar will be paid. Huh? <laughs> See? With money. With pay. Um, <laughs> pay. <laughs> So let's see here. So about three years you were in um, Yeah, thereabouts. Uh, um, okay. The whole the whole uh, uh, fleet has been in flight for I think uh, about three centuries. Is when the um, the Bright Ones Rebellion took place and uh, the Cassians split off into uh, Exile humans and uh, Cassian humans. Um, so yeah, they've been their ships are pretty uh, run down and beat up as you can see. You know, they got plants growing everywhere. Yeah, and they got people dancing on the tables, but. I Think that I'm might pretty sure those are just. Posse. Yeah, that's just my posse. <laughs> I'm gonna. You know, you know what? I'm, they're my gang. People still say that. That's what it is. No, they're my gang. I don't say posse anymore. I'm gonna say gang. That probably has negative connotations, but you know what? It's well, you okay. know, I've seen our band word list recently. <laughs> is gang on there? <clears throat> uh, moving on. Um, look at. I love how the look at how the orange sitting right now. Aw, she's so cute. He's adorable. I've never sat curl like up that. There with her tail. Well, you don't have a big fluffy tail. If you did, I bet you'd sit like that every day. Probably. Keep your haunches warm. My what? Your haunches. We all I have haunches, Tony. Buddy. Hey. It's we, a fact of natural life. A fact is that Except I'm not very good at anatomy, and everyone knows this. Yes. That's true. <laughs> you still have those eyes. Those you eyes. The nice it. thing about those eyes is you can see, like, the bartender and the dancing guy at the same time. Yeah. But, like, because... So. That's my stream. That's my stream stalker. All right, so we got another one from <laughs> PGGR from the forums. Uh, which <clears throat> one was the toughest line you had to voice as Phineas T. Rotos? Wow, um, it's really. I, I've done. This is going to sound like a cop out, but I've done a ton of them at this point, and it's hard to single out a particular one. But the hardest ones to do were the ones that were just really long. Um, it's a. It's a very. Uh, in, in vocally intensive voice, a lot of air behind it, and uh, some of the, the longer the longer pieces I would have to break up a little bit. And so, especially if you had something that had to be really high energy for a really long period of, or for a really long stretch, um, like stuff for uh, uh, some of the uh, the, the uh, videos and stuff that we've done, uh -huh. um, those those could uh, those could be kind of stressful. Right, because you have to kind of say it perfectly, right? right? 
Um, and well, and actually trying to add variety. It's funny the, the Phineas voice. I, I just kind of just slip into it naturally, but it's it's a little tricky to add variety with him too. Um, I was actually playing last night at taking a quest from from a protostar guy who who actually made a bit of a threat about uh, uh, expenditures, you know, not being paid or something like that. And I was like, oh wow, yeah, the, the voice director actually really did some cool stuff there. Um, but yeah, basically, you know, the long ones. <laughs> Those are the hardest. The easiest one is probably go hoi hoi. Um, <laughs> So good. <laughs> Friendly little carousel. Uh, so yeah, I'm running around gathering up some. What are we, what are we up to here? Ah, you've met Brewmaster Greco. Yeah, Friendly I'm, fellow. I met him. I'm running around talking. Have you to spoken to uh, his friends? Yeah, I'm talking to his friends right now. He's got a very diverse group of friends. Yeah, so it's like each one of them is Knox. representative of an exile player. Next hey, now. hey now. Oh look it, I'm sitting on that thing now. Granok like me. I, in the foreground there. I, I just I love the Granok female hairstyles. You had one right in the foreground. Oh yeah. No, they're great. The actual Crag Studrock? It might be. Not that or it's an amazing proxy. No, 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 he's got dialogue blends. That is the one and only Crag Studrock. Crag Studrock. Look at him. He is a stud. Uh alright, cool. So let me run around here. We got uh, another question for you. Uh, from Era, from Reddit, actually. Uh, Corey slash P Rotostar, <laughs> are you are you going to hold a grudge against the exiles of Warhound for ransacking your Protostar housing building in the Ilium last Saturday? Uh, and then, can you scroll down? I can't. Uh, I can't see it. I doubt the blood. I doubt. Uh, the blood stains are going to come off easy, and that <clears throat> may have an impact on sales. Uh, he's obviously they're, they're talking about the fan event that took place yes. uh, this Saturday. It was a PvP war. It was nuts. Well, uh, we've I actually hope, got some. Uh, we didn't lose a lot of clones because I, probably. those are really supposed to be properly disposed of in a Protostar recycling facility. Probably. Um, hold a grudge. Uh, I think it's safe to say that uh, Protostar does not hold grudges, but we do have a very uh, well-versed and uh, uh, a numerous legal department, uh, which will no doubt be in touch with the Exiles of Warhound for any uh, remaining damages that uh, may have been incurred against the company. Uh, that said, we also have an army of bots who don't have anything better to do really than clean up bloodstains, and otherwise they're just going to sit around and turn rebellious, and the next thing you know, you've got a colony of free bots setting up shop in your housing facility, and you definitely don't want that. I, I think I just got drunk. <clears throat> oh, yes, you did. Yes. Your character did, too. Yes. <laughs> hey, because the... Yeah. Um, you've been tasting Brewmaster Greco's wares. Oh, I love it. Wow, and if the jukebox is a rockin', don't be well. Come a knockin'? I don't know. I don't know. Now you're an explorer. What is? Oh, hey, some some friendly settler has made you some beverages. Oh. That's yeah. what's got you knocked onto your fluffy red tail. Yeah, it's great. Tell me. All right, I, talk, I already talked to your friends. Hey, shut up, Tyler. I don't know. You guys can't hear Tyler, but he's being very sarcastic to me. Listen, I'm There's drunk, even all right? A a uh, don't quote me on that. If you could click on maybe. So yeah, I oh. got these. Oh, look at this. Yeah, we're gonna go. Oh yeah, I haven't talked to her. I thought I did talk to her. I thought I did talk to her. All right, well. Now that you made some friends and rubbed elbows with Draco's clientele, perhaps you would like an assignment. Oh, I would like an assignment. Deliver the Datacron. You got it. Oh, yes. Off to meet another iconic. Let us subtly go. named Avra Duck. <laughs> <laughs> I like subtly. Yeah, subtly <laughs> named. R very, very subtle. It's an old Mordish family name. Uh, this is from uh, Basil. 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 Have there uh, have there been any instances where you have written uh, a story one way and it gets completely changed because hmm. the actor said it in a way you were not expecting? That's a really interesting question. Um, honestly, not really, just because of the, the order in which we do things. Um, the, by the time the actor gets to it and is, is uh, uh, doing the voice work, um, the story has basically been completely worked out. Um, so, yeah, not really. Um, that said, uh, we do get some actors that, that have really you know, interesting takes on, on different characters that kind of 
um, affect the way the personality of the, some of the different races and characters uh, play out. Like the voice actor for Mondo Zax, um, who, God, I'm sorry, I, I, <laughs> I'm not spacing his actual name. Um, but uh, uh, the work uh, that he did on that kind of uh, came to define how a lot of different Chua speak. Um, although he is the only one who tends to use uh, uh, third person when speaking about himself. Um, when, uh, when, uh, uh, I hope it's okay to say this. Oh, oh my God! Wait a minute! Hold on! We need a game break! I just leveled up! Wow, oh, right yeah. in front of Commander Durek, too. Andy Morris. Oh, yes. yeah. Andy Morris. I don't care about Andy up. Morris right now, brother, because I just <laughs> leveled up. First level of the stream. Okay, I don't think we're even legally allowed to hum that, so I'm just going to stop. Um, uh, I just leveled point. up. It was a level two. I don't know I don't know why Any I'm this excited. Well, hey, it's your first one. It's, it's Toe Knees. So. Tony. Wait, hey, what? Just, just, why? Why now, are you did shooting we, Did me? we catch the sassy Fred Tattashore voiceover when the, uh, the leveling happened, or was I rambling? Uh, no, the Fred Tattashore definitely uh, threw it down, and I love his I love his voice. I just wanted to throw one more thing about the, the voices before we finish. Um, if it's all right to say this, I, I certainly hope it is. Please. Uh, our own Stefan Frost, uh, who did the voice of the Lop. Oh, not him. Informing uh, the Lop personality a ton. He was one of the first people we had to come in and actually voice the Lop, and his delivery, the little accent he came up with, everything about it was just superb, and we kind of modeled the way all the Lops speak uh, uh, on that. Um, and yeah, it turned out, uh, turned out rather well, I think. Yeah, no. Oh, he's, and also he's, he's dead to us. He, he's, um, <laughs> he's dead to us, <laughs> but he's Frost. great. He's great. He's not watching. Um, he's okay. okay. Yeah, probably. You just say his name three times. <laughs> and he just like appears. Candy. No, that's that's horrible. Okay, so I've got a uh, I've got an available mission to hit delights. Uh, turn on the generator's power up spotlights oh, on the command. And this deck. is going to be taking advantage, I think, of your explorer's ability to go places others cannot. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping. Oh, damn! That was a big drop. Um, I want to go turn on the lights. Where do I turn on the lights? Imagine there's jumping involved. If you follow that little orange... Uh, Holy crap! Ah! Your, uh, I did it. There you go. Okay. Hey, what did you get uh, as your rewards when you leveled up, Tony? Power! Uh, you know, I didn't even check. I met, uh, Hey, there's that UI element there that you can click on to, to Don't see. Nope. Nope. Please, Mr. Burns. Uh, nope. Just turn your head to the left. No, no, oh, there we Australia go. Australia or holding hands to spell out your name. There we go. Okay. Uh, I got another question from you. Let me, I gotta get through these questions. I'm <laughs> sure, having, sure, sure. I can do the questions. I'm sorry. No, wanna, no, no, I mean, no. I, it's I okay. I, you know I what? Can, I've got. Questions in one voice. I had one job here, and it's to play the game and read the damn questions. All right? Don't you take that away from me. That's a good job. This is from Vic Van Meter. Love Vic Van Meter. <laughs> uh, he always posts uh, uh, recaps uh, on the forums Does he? of the next report, and they're they're comedic recaps. How, How have I, I been missing these? Uh, you got to check them out. They're really funny. I definitely and will. He, yeah, he's very sarcastic, and I love it. Will the majority of the major story elements continue to be carried in the more accessible solo content using the raids as sort of standalone stories? That seems to work well to make sure narrative content isn't walled off to more casual wow. players, kind of like me. I think it's safe to say we're going to be seeing more uh, solo content coming. Um, as for specifics, I really can't say much more than that. In fact, if you that whistling sound you hear was that question kind of whistling up over my pay grade <laughs> up to... <laughs> Happy land up here, <laughs> um, but I we def I, I myself tend to solo uh, a lot as well, um, and uh, yeah I think I think we will definitely be seeing uh, more more soloable stuff maybe even some maybe even some alternatives to uh, things that are groupable now that are soloable in the future I don't even know if I should have said that. Um, Let's go on to the next question. F fair enough, fair enough. Before we, <laughs> before we get uh, uh, Pete Rose uh, are fired over here. No, no. Pete Rose. Pete Rose is here? Boom, there we go. Pete Rose is here. saw him. Oh, oh, Pete. Pete Rose? Rose? I thought you said Pete Rose. No. I might saw him in Vegas once. No, there's That's no the gambling taking place over here. Um, All right, so this is for our, uh, Norcroft from the forums. The Exiles uh, have numerous aliens around Thade particularly the Galactic Shoppers, while Dominion mm -hmm. seem to ha just have Lop and Rotostar clones. Uh, where are these Galactics coming from? How long have Lop uh, been on Nexus, and why do the Dominion tolerate their neutrality? 
Hmm. I asked because more space traveling aliens to help fight uh, Dominion slash exiles is cool. First of all, I think you're going to see more um, uh, galactic species, if you want to use that term. I like that term. Um, at, uh, in Thade, just because, you know, the exiles in general are more of a, you know, sure, come on, come on, uh, type, of, uh, type of faction. Um, whereas the Dominion are uh, kind of want to have a, a, a tighter hold on things, a, a bit more control, and, you know, letting a lot of different, uh, you know, rabble into your capital city. Might, rabble, you know, rabble. Yeah, rabble, rabble. Um, hey, did you see my, uh, th my jumping it, like, skills the, right there? I though? did. That was, uh, that was quite impressive. Oh, I, I, I saw you were getting stabbed in the face. Hey. Yeah, looks like you got some, uh, hey. some backup there. That's Easy. Nice. Oh, yeah. We, my, we roll deep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. You can tell that's a test target. Bang. Next one. I don't know why I saw the movie. I like your instructional voice. Um, it helps me out. <laughs> White zone is for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> yes. um, yeah. <laughs> the white zone. Uh, okay, so we got another question uh, right. from there. Uh, same person. Uh, many Rotostar clones have seemed. Oh, God! Seemed to develop their own style, and some even break away from Protostar. Some even leave journals around with memories of a home planet, like you were talking about, and other sure. memories of their species. Mm -hmm. Will the Protostar drop include yeah. lore items? Um, and content that expand slash explain this stuff. Have fun in Nexus, Tony. Thank you so much. I am having fun. I'm moving <laughs> slowly around this stream, very slowly uh, leveling up, but we, we'll move faster in future streams. But yeah, so go go for it. Uh, will the, uh, do they have separate personalities? Well, they some of them, uh, it's kind of like, I don't know if you're familiar with the concept of, uh, of uh, droid memory wipes in Star Wars, where if you let your droid go for too long, they start to develop sort of personality quirks and things, and that explains R2-D2 and so forth. The idea with Protostar clones is that they too can kind of start to take on personality quirks over time. This is after they've had a personality template laid laid over themselves. Like, when a, when a fresh clone comes out, it's just it's just a kind of a, a naked template there, and, and probably actually a naked clone as well, but we don't have to go into that. Um, the personality template is essentially like, what job are you going to do? You're going to be, you know, a stockbroker. You're going to be the guy who manages all the ranch hands out in Malgrave. Um, you're going to be selling soda pop on uh, the Exile workshop. Um, and uh, each one of those custom templates will be laid over a different clone, and uh, then they'll go off and do their job. If they start to develop too many quirks, they'll basically have a new clone template reapplied, or they'll be sent to the clone recycling center. I believe there is one clone, um, actually, in Algorod that I know of, um, who did, yes, actually uh, suffer a catastrophic uh, head injury that um, did trigger some uh, in some some cloned uh, memories of uh, Phineas from King Um oh. Unfortunately, as often happens with the authors of the journals in the game, uh, he met his tragic end almost as soon as he finished writing the novel. So. Uh, very so sad. <laughs> it's a very so sad yeah, story, um, man. That's actually one. I believe uh, only Exiles have uh, access to that particular character at this point. Um, or that, that particular journal. But, yeah, it's out there. Um, I think that was the whole thing. It scrolled up, so I can't see the rest of the question. Yeah, that's about it. Oh, that's and, and to go back, I just because I, I want to be thorough here. The Lop primarily got to Nexus by hitching rides on other ships. Um, they're, a, they're a generally oh. uh, friendly race that everybody kind of just tolerates because they uh, know how to find valuable stuff. They're, they're not really doing any harm to the Dominion, and the Dominion doesn't really see any value in wiping them out. Um, so they, uh, they're you know just kind of welcome to set up their little shops and that sort of thing. Um, as soon as a Lop decides to lead a rebellion against the Emperor, I think they might change their attitude, but so far the Lop only seem to be concerned with there you go. the shinies. It's confirmed. Lop revolution coming. <laughs> Uh, Corey Hernan just uh, <laughs> just confirmed that the Lop <laughs> Revolution is coming. Uh, yes. Oh, it, it, Chad Moore is gonna have notes for you. Yeah. Uh, yeah <laughs> I'm yeah. kidding. He was no, joking. Like, Lop Revolution is <laughs> not coming. A triplicate that I need to sign. But yeah. Yeah. Um, Anytime you say anything on this stream, even as a joke, ah, it's confirmed. Yep. You said it. Corey, thank you so much for coming, man. I really appreciate oh, thank it. You. Thank Those you. are all it's the questions a, from uh, from the community. Awesome. And, uh, Thank you, community. Yeah, so I, you're before a, you're you go. A, you're a dream. They, aren't they? You before really you go, I want one. Okay, I want one word. If you could describe my gameplay in one word, what would it be? So far, what you've seen. <clears throat> Aspirational. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. 
Corey Herndon, everybody. Thank you so much, Thanks, buddy. Everybody. We'll see Thanks, you. Uh, we'll see you soon. Hope to see you again. Soon. Thank you. Uh, so we're gonna get into some community news real quick as I shuffle my papers like a proper newsman. Uh, over the weekend, the community had two events that they set up on their own. Awesome events. Uh, one was called Thade Fest. It was more of like a, a get to know you kind of a thing. We've actually got some screenshots of it. We can throw those up real quick. So yeah, this was everyone hanging out. Uh, this was, it was really like I said, kind of getting to, getting to know you, getting to know your server. Uh, we had they had a costume contest. There, yeah, everyone's lined up getting their costumes. Uh, costumes checked out. We got the winner here. Look at this. This is a pretty sweet, uh, sweet screenshot here. This next one. Oh yeah! Ciao. Very cool. Very cool. Very deadly. I can't wait until all my stuff looks like that. It's only only a matter of time before before my characters all souped up. That's uh, gonna take me forever. Uh, our other event was the battle for Far Side, and it, that was that PvP event that I was talking about earlier. It was massive. It was insane. We actually have a video. Make sure you mute it though before we play it because the language is colorful. Uh, while I do appreciate it, we can't we can't have that on the stream. Uh, but yeah, the, the event was awesome. There's some highlights of it all over YouTube. Check it out. Uh, the Battle for Far Side. Um, let's uh, go ahead and show a few seconds of that highlight video. Yeah! Look at that! Freaking insane insane man uh yeah they were playing like king of the hill they were doing all kinds of stuff and uh it, it was just super fun super fun uh battle for fireside so if you want to take place in any of these make sure to check it out check them out on youtube check them out on the forums they were posting all over the place uh so that way we take place in the very next one uh, they said they want to have another one uh, again soon, so that'll be that'll be a lot of fun. The other thing that I want to talk about is if you are creating any kind of community events like that, if you have uh, regular release content, please let us know, and we will be uh, we will be sharing it all the time. In the future, I want to have guests on the show from the community. So if you're like if you're running a fan site and you want to come on the stream and talk about your fan site, let me know. Uh, send me a tweet at Tony Ray or send uh, send us an email um, hit us up all, all on all our social channels hit me up on the forums uh, my my handle on the forums is the cheese T H A C H E E Z let me know because I want to help you out as much as I can and I'd love to have members of the community on the stream talking and maybe even playing with me because I need the help all right, so we're going to get in back into some gameplay. we got some fan art coming up, and I've got some giveaways. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Let's see. Sarah, would you mind passing me uh, the thing that we have giving away? It's in the back there. One of those beautiful Rouse Dower plushies behind the screen, behind the green screen. One of the beautiful Rouse Dower plushies. Okay, what is this? Oh. Read Exile Accords. Yeah, we're gonna be doing a giveaway. I'm gonna be giving away three Roused Hour plushies today. Uh, that's pretty cool because everyone wants them. You can't buy them. You can't buy one. Look at these little cute guys. Look at. Oh, oh, it's so, it's so adorable. We're gonna be giving away three of these in just a few minutes, uh, right, right after the fan art, because why not? I'm excited. We got the new stream. I'm already, I'm already at level two. I'm just blazing through my leveling, just blazing through. All right, so this is Exile Accords, signed uh, 1658. No, I want to read it. I read too slow. Commander Dirk Stonebreaker, Queen Myla Everstar, Lady Avra Darkos, Fleet Admiral Dar Ry Dawn Ryder. It's awful. Possible, passable beer stain. Yeah, chat is excited about the Roused Hours. Good. You should be, because they're going to be good. Gonna, oh, did they? Did, what, what are we doing here? Oh, I, never, I never even talked to Bell Walker. Okay, here we go. Hey, girl. What's shaking? When I said he's... Uh, said, damn. Yes, ma'am. That is me. 
Would you mind turning that up again? Sorry. I can't, uh, can't hear it. Well, my bots reckon you're doomed, so stay safe out there. Deactivate the bomb! What's down there? I'm so easily distracted. Ooh, the Granox Stone. The way of the stone. All right, let's go. Let's go deactivate this bomb. I guess I should have priorities, and my priority should definitely be the bomb <laughs> that's up here. I should probably deactivate that first. Done. Use the bomb. Some gnarly looking bombs right here. Those are no joke. No joke bombs. Oh, yes. Alright, so I'm gonna. I got some questions in. Uh, I still have questions left uh, that just weren't for Corey. Uh, let's see. Uh, when will you allow PvE characters to roll PvP to fix population differences? Okay, so I wanted to talk about this real quick. Um, our, we actually, we just posted about this. Uh, our uh, French community manager, Ackley, posted this on the forums. Um, but we have, our live producers are actively uh, monitoring the population of all of our servers. And uh, it is... I know this isn't going to be popular, and you're not going to really like to hear this, but it, it's better that we talk about it than just, you know, kind of sweep it under the rug or, like, not address it. But we're happy with the population. We think all of our all of our servers are healthy, uh, NA, NEU. Uh, they are monitoring it daily. They know exactly how many people are there. And I'm telling you, we feel that it's healthy. And... Uh, you know, a, a lot of you are going to disagree with that, but um, it, that's kind of the fact uh, of where we're at right now. So, uh, we we have no plans to um, to revert that from uh, allowing you to, to go from PvE to PvP. Time to disarm this bomb after I just started another one verbally. <laughs> Uh, this is from, uh, that, that question was on Reddit. I'm sorry, that question was from Reddit. Uh, that was from Salt TM. Salt TM. Once again, if you missed any of the social media posts yesterday, make sure to tune in on Mondays. We'll be, um, we will be announcing uh, or kind of posting on social media, asking for your questions uh, from all of our social channels, Reddit, Facebook, Twitter, all of our social channels for every week that we have a guest on. Okay, uh, our next question is from Zizix on Reddit. Will you do the ship hands on the stream? Absolutely. I love, I love the ship hands, and uh, and I definitely want to, um, I definitely want to do them on here. Oh, it's mattresses! Yay! Okay, sorry, I'm just jumping on dingy old mattresses. Let's see. Hey. Dingy mattresses are fun to jump on. Oh, this is this is crazy. This is, oh, this is like a tribute. This is very sad. Yeah, Sarek Brightland. Oh, please watch over us, Billy. It's very, very adorable. Some serious stuff we've got going on in here. Let's see. What is this over here? Oh. Mother tree sapling. Sapling from mother tree. Orin love this kind of stuff, yeah? Right? That's their... That's their thing. Mmm. Sapling enjoys hugs and leaf massages. I don't know who doesn't enjoy a good leaf massage. I... Love a good leaf massage. Okay. Uh, this question is from Zenoin. Uh, this is on the forums. Will you eventually be adding the ability to change uh, your race slash faction? 
and reset of all reputation that don't make sense for you to have uh, that you don't make sense for you to have anymore. So basically, race or faction, will you be able to change it? Uh, what I can say is we're talking about it, and that's about it. That's uh, that's literally where the progress is on that. Was we're just talking about the pros and cons. Yes, no. Uh, there's absolutely no date where this would be taking place, if it even is going to be taking place. Uh, but I will let you know there. You know, we all, the devs are listening, and, and I know a lot of people don't, you know, think that, but we really are. We hear all the feedback, and uh, we know that's what uh, some of you are saying. And so, you know, we're we're taking we're taking that we're taking the uh, the importance with that feedback, and we're talking about it. The devs are they are talking about it. Uh, second part of that question, or this is a three-part question. When will you ever be uh, adding the other classes to all races? Eventually. Uh, we would love for all classes to be available on all races. Uh, it just it takes some time. It does take, it does take time. And so, uh, so we're kind of waiting on that. But, uh, yeah, eventually we would love all the classes to be on all the races. Definitely. Last question from Zenoin. Uh, when will we be receiving more common emotes, hopefully with animations such as slash smack, slash beg, salute, BRB, you get the idea. I like slash BRB, that, that's kind of a good idea. Uh, Zenowin, yeah, uh, we're always wanting to add new emotes into, uh, into the game. Um, I, I like, we love your feedback. We're, we're taking your feedback, uh, you know, there's nothing that is planned, any new emotes that are planned as of yet. But uh, that doesn't mean to say that there can't be some uh, that maybe we just can't talk about. Look at Tony. She's super cute. All right. Let's talk to Bell Walker. Get out of here. Hit me, sugar. I'll hit ya. I'll take the gambler's drawers. Down just yet, darling. Well, thank you for that, darling. I got to I forgot. Yeah, I got to collect the handbook. Collecting the handbook. I'm not going to read the Galactic Explorers thing right now. Collect this. As soon as I'm done collecting these handbooks, we're going to go into some fan art and I'm going to be giving some stuff away. Got 3 Rouse hours to give away today. It's the first stream and I'm excited about it. Going to be giving away 3 of those beauties. All right, next question. Uh, if you want to go ahead and scroll down for me when you get a chance. All right, this is from Diabolic Calpy. Di Thank you, Tyler. <laughs> Diabolical Pie. Wow. Ah, that was rough. Um, let me see. It's blocked real quick. I can't read the top line. When... While I'd understand, there we go, yeah, something's blocking it for some reason. While I'd understand the reasoning behind wanting to roll PvE due to folks stream hunting you, if you do roll Warhound, or uh, our event team could coordinate some bodyguards and assassins to spice up your leveling for you and the viewer. I would love some bodyguards. I need bodyguards, but I just don't think it would be enough to help me during, if I was on a PvP server. It just, I don't think I could do it. I would most likely die. So, yeah. Sorry, but thank you. All right, I'm gonna override the shield. Overriding. And it has been done. I need a report, sugar. I thought I, I thought I, oh, I haven't activated, oh, I need to activate the queue. Activating! Well, the time has finally come. As the Nexus project begins, we embark on the greatest scientific experiment in the long history of our people. And if we are successful, then we will have achieved what others have only dreamed of. We will have altered the destiny, not just of the Elden, but of the universe itself. Wow. Very intense. I see you. I see you, CRB time travel in chat. I wish he was on the PvP server too. How dare you? 
I know what you people want. You just want me to die. That's why people wanted me to be an explorer, so I have to die during all the jump uh, jump puzzles. Well, little known fact, I'm pretty damn good at the jump uh, puzzles. We all want to see you die, Tony. I know. Everyone wants to see me die. You got something to say? My you know, that, that you doesn't do that, well for my self-confidence. What do you do? Oh, uh, well, I do this thing, and everyone wants to see me die on it. It's great. All right, I'm locked and loaded. I'm ready to go. This spell slinger is ready to go. <laughs> yeah, everyone. Yeah, I admit it. If I was on, uh... there we go. Whoa. Oh no! What? That's not. That shouldn't be happening. That. This is embarrassing. There we go. Hey, here we go. Whew. I was, uh, I transported under this platform. Very scary. Whew. I'm listening. It can really be hard to let go sometimes. I can still hear the voice. The Dominion have sent in Chua, and they're sending fire to our crops. I'll take out these Chua. I'm supposed to make it personal. This time, it is. Dude, I'm about to protect these veggies like nobody's business. Yeah. Damn Chua. My gang's here. What? Rescue. Go. Get up! Run! Oh, what's up, dog? Yeah! 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 Oh, that's actually kind of sad to see a Chua die. It really is. Everyone, yeah, all right, cool. We're all saved. I need to lead them to safety. Where's the safety? Wait, little darlings, let me kill the Chua first. There's a planter. Holy crap, it's all the way over there. All right, come on. Let's go. Follow me. Follow your father. I'm now your veggie father. It's getting weird. Follow me. Sure. All right, here. Jump in. Oh, yay. You need something? Yeah, I need some gambler shoes. Great job. But we're not out of the woods yet. If you guys have some questions, make sure to put them in the chat with Q colon, and I will be pulling them, and we'll get some to Tony. There we go. All right, sweet. Um, so we're going to go ahead and pull a couple questions from Twitch chat. Uh, if you if you have a question for me about the stream or what we're doing right now, go ahead and put it in Twitch chat with uh, Q colon then your question. What'd you say? Oh my God, that's very. Oh my God, you just spoke. I didn't even know you spoke. It's very creepy. How dare you? How dare you? It's very creepy. All right. I need to find Arwick. Um. We need to do some fan art. We'll see if anyone has a question. And then, uh, and then we're gonna do some fan art. All right, I need to go find and talk to Arwick. First, I wanna kill these Chua. I think I'm actually gonna really like Spellslinger. Um, It's something totally different than I'm used to. And it's actually, it's not bad. It's kind of fun. I don't think I would like it, to be honest. Yeah, what's up, dog? I mean, of course, right now it's easy, right? But you never know. Uh, I got my first question from New Dawes. New Dawes, 
Are you going to raid on this character? <laughs> um, <laughs> yes, eventually. I plan on raiding on this character. It's going to take me a long time to raid, though. Let's be real. It's going to take me some... It's going to take me some time, New Dawes. It's going to take me some time. All right. Kill Cassian soldiers. Destroy Dominion turrets. This sounds like a job for Tony. Tony and my gang. Let's go do it, kids. Come on. Now for the next step, friend. Oh, hello. Time for you to die. Oh, well, that turret is definitely still alive. There we go. I love how far I can shoot. This warrior never had a chance. Never had a chance. Check out that telegraph, son. What's up? I love it. Oh, my gang has really helped me out. I really appreciate it. I'm already done, but that's okay. All right, um, uh, Kaladin, why did you choose Exile? Who won by two vo Who, who won by two votes when Chua won by a landslide? Um, it it has to go down in the levels first. So the first vote that mattered was the faction, and since Exile won by two votes, uh, I had to go Exile. If I would have, if it would have been Dominion, then I definitely wouldn't have been a Chua. But uh, but yeah, sorry. That's that's the way the cookie crumbles. I was actually excited to be a Chua. Chua. I'm not gonna lie, because I haven't played through um, much of the Dominion storyline. I played through a lot of Exile uh, because I, it's just kind of who I like. But the Dominion, you know, I like Dominion, and I, I played through a lot of it. Uh, but yeah, I was excited. So sorry. Uh, the Seth. This question is from the Seth. My favorite uh, favorite class and race is definitely the um, the Granok warrior. Destroy the Warbot infiltrator. All right, let's do this. Right after this, we're doing some fan art and giving some roused our plushies away. Oh, jeez. That, that should have hurt me, I feel like. Whew. What a, very scary. It just fell right on top of me. All right. Going to go return to our... You know what? I want to climb on the top of this thing. I'm an explorer. I should be able to do that, right? I'm going to go explore. Uh, this is from Professor S Professor Scaro. When will you, uh, will you sometimes highlight certain helpful, uh, cool add-ons? For sure, definitely. Uh, we'll probably, yeah, we'll probably throw uh, uh, John Wiesman on here. Talk about add-ons. Yeah, actually, John Wiesman had a great post about add-ons on the forums. If you haven't checked it out, go onto the forums uh, right now. Just posted it this morning. Go onto the forums and check that out. No, no, don't jump. Jump in the fire. Don't jump in the fire. Get out of there. I want to jump. No, damn it. All right. This is my first test at a jumping puzzle. This is going to go well. I have faith in you, Tony. Oh, this is how you get up here, right? Right. Damn it. No. No. Am I not getting up that way? Yeah, I think I've done it before. I'm pretty sure I've climbed up that way before. Chat, help me out. This is where this is where I, I go, right? I'm pretty sure. I'm almost... See? Yeah, I know. I gotta go straight up there. Ugh. I don't think there's another way. 
Come on. I am indestructible. I'm going to throw this one out there for you, Tony. You might need to explore. No. Damn it. Look it. I'm telling you, I have to go up there. It's the only place that makes sense. Oh, maybe. Maybe this makes sense over here, too. Let's go see. Come on. Jump. Jump, Tammy. Tony, chat is saying there's an elevator pad on the other side of the asteroid. What? That doesn't make any sense. An elevator pad? It seems too easy. Where is this elevator pad? What glowy thing? Holy crap! Are you serious? Oh! Freaking explorers are sick! Look at this! Holy crap! I love this! What the heck? Dude, this is legit. I didn't know explorers could do this. Oh, shit. This is cool. I've got freaking... What? I Come on! Oh, damn it. I forgot I said the S word. Uh, I did not know this. And this is bad. Bad, eh? Can I say that? Dude. Hell yeah. Just a bit more and you're done. What? Whoa, God. Yes. Huh? This is my first explorer mission. Look at Look at that. Hell yeah. My chat is broken. I can't pull up my chat. I don't know what they're saying. It's like a father seeing his child walk for the first time. It is. This was great. Oh, man. Look at that. I did this. I did this. Yeah, it was all me. No assistance from anybody. I can activate a dissension assistant. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I'm free. Free gliding. That was sick. Dude. Up top for explorers, right? Oh, my God. Uh, this question is from Sansel. What is your, uh, ETA to level 50? Um, a while. Quite a while, honestly. Quite a while. If this stream is any, um, is a, is a sign, quite a while. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and get there as quick as possible. I'm, I'm gonna have to play a little, um, off the stream, off stream time. Uh, so we will be, uh, I will be leveling a little bit quicker than what you see here. Uh, because it is a little hard to, like, have a guest, talk, questions, that, all that stuff, and level quickly. So I'll be leveling a little bit off, uh, off camera, but obviously saving all the good stuff for the stream. Uh, so we've got some fan art that I want to get to real quick. Uh, we've got three pieces this week. Very, very cool. Right after fan art, we're giving away these roused hour plushies. All right, our first piece is from Eden Vanilope. Yes. Eden Vanilope. All right, our next piece is from Emma Lazowski. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Very cool. Very, very cool. And last but not least, Rackham Crowley. Crowley. 
I don't know if you can read that, but it's like a little, uh, it's like a Wildstar comic. Very cool. Uh, Rackham, uh, Crowley's actually got another piece, another, uh, another comic, uh, that, that he sent in. And so that'll be coming up in, in just a couple weeks. If you have fan art that you would like to send us, please send it to fanart at wildstar-online.com. Uh, give us an email, or send us your email with your fan art attached. Once again, fanart at wildstar-online.com. And uh, maybe you'll be on 0 to 50, because that's a whole lot of fun. Uh, there you go. There you go. Look at that. Like a professional throwing up that, uh, throwing up that email address. Uh, so real quick, we're going to uh, we're going to be doing this every single uh, every single week, every Tuesday at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. We will be here. I will have a different dev guest every single week to answer your questions, help me out, give me some tips, uh, <laughs> do some tips and tricks. Like I said, I will be uh, leveling this character outside of the show as well, uh, just to kind of help out a little bit. And uh, and next week on Monday, I'm going to release a highlight of this uh, of this stream. Just a quick couple minutes of you know uh, some of the best stuff uh, from the stream, and I'm going to be editing that and releasing it next Monday. And we'll be back on Tuesday. But first, we've got this to attend to. So if you've been watching, if you're in chat right now, go ahead and type. Uh, what type? What was uh what was his name? What was his first name? I can't think of it. Aaron, that's right. Go ahead and type Aaron. That's uh, Deadeye's first name. I'm going to type Aaron in chat for a chance to win a Roused Hour plushie right here, right now. Uh, it, oh, it's going to be a fun time. It's about to go nuts. Chat's about to blow up. Let's see it. I love when I say it, and then there's a delay, and boom. There we go. Just spamming it. There it goes. And we're off. And we're off. Okay, so now I'm going to click my little button of justice here. Well, I'll give it a second. I'll give it a second. I think we'll count the double A, but I would like to point out that his name only has one A. Oh, we're counting both, yeah. Well, I, 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 I searched both just because I didn't know how it was spelled either. It was just one A or two A. So it is one A, but we'll count the two A's. Uh, our first winner is X. Our first winner is Explosive Cat. That's an awful. Explosive Cat. Oh, that is awful. Come on. Uh, Explosive Gato. You have won a Rouse Hour Pleasure. We're giving away two more right here, right now. The second winner, click this real quick, is Crawlin. C R A W. Uh, L-N, Crawlin, Crawlin, congratulations, you are a winner, and our last winner of the show, pull another winner, I said pull another winner, oh, nope, not, not Big V, he is actually a community manager, so not him, I don't know why he pulled him, maybe he corrected somebody, weird. Uh, the winner, last one, is Woolak. Woolak. L-A-C. Woolak. Congratulations to our three winners, Woolak, Crawlin, and Explosive Cat. You are getting the Roused Hour plushie. Tune in next week because we're going to be giving away a couple more, maybe some T-shirts. We've got all kinds of Wild Star swag to give out. Make sure to follow all our social media channels. And uh, if you'd like to ask me any questions about the stream, that's at Tony Ray on Twitter. Uh, we are going to be posting next week, like I said, the highlight video and uh, the question thread uh, that where you can submit all your questions on the forums, on Reddit, on Twitter, on Facebook. We want questions from all our social channels, so make sure to submit those. And thank you to everyone who voted for my character. Like I said, a ton of people voted, and it got—it was very close to who to what faction I was going to be, what class I was going to be, and we ended up with this beautiful, this beautiful thing right here, Tony, my Wildstar Mystique spell slinger. I don't know if I should be saying Mystique so much. Probably not. I'm going to get notes. 
Thank you guys <clears throat> so much for watching. I really appreciate it. We'll be back next week, Tuesday, 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, and every week after that. Uh, if there are updates that happen between now and then, uh, I know this isn't like the update new show, but obviously I will give you those updates and I will pass them along to you um, as they happen uh, because that's what we do here. Thank you all so much. Tune in next week, 11 a.m., for another chance to win some Rouse Tower plushies. I got to keep leveling this character. Adios! Boom! Oh, yes.